In this lecture snippet, I'm going to go through the whole process from start to finish and show you an example, at least one example, of how you can use the SSDeep hashing algorithm for forensics. And so to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and run the sudo fdisk-l command to list the hard drives and disks that are associated with my operating system. The drive that I want to copy is going to be this SDC1, which is going to be part of the flash drive that I have. It's a 2 gig flash drive, and I've used it in different videos within the series. And so I want to copy that into an image file so that I can look at doing some hashing with that particular image and the hard drive itself. So I'll run the sudo command again, dc3dd, to copy uh, the actual disk. So I need the if command dev sdc1. That's the input file. And then I also need the output file going to my home directory or my desktop directory. So I'll go ahead and put that here on my desktop. And all of this stuff has been done in the series so far, so I'm kind of moving through it really fast. I'm going to call this one flash.img. And I'll go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see that it's going to go through this process of actually copying over that partition and putting it on my hard drive. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to look at some different hashing options and show you why the SSD will work as a fuzzy hash as opposed to looking at the MD5 hashes. Because what I'm going to eventually do is make a small change within the actual flash drive that I'm working with and kind of compare the results. So this is going to run through. It's at 7% right now. I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so now I see that the actual hard drive, or partition, I should say, has been copied over. I'm going to go ahead and do a CD desktop so that I'm at the desktop itself where the flash.img file is. I'm just going to run the sudo chmod command. I'll do 777 flash.img, and this will just change the permissions so that I have the rights for this file, not just the sudo user or the root user. And so now let's go ahead and do two uh, things here. I'm going to go ahead and do the MD5 hash. So I'm going to do MD5 deep, and I'm going to go ahead and take it up for the flash image first. So MD5 deep, and I'm going to go ahead and type in flash.img. Now a couple things with this command. I can use the dash E option for the progress indicator, and I want the output to go to a file I'm going to call hash dot txt. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and you can see that as it's going through it's giving me the time that's left, it's giving me the size that it's working through and it's working through quite quickly on this flash image. Once this is done I'm going to actually do the exact same thing but append my hash to the hash text so that I can see if my copy from the hard drive is exactly the same as the copy or actually the partition itself. So this is almost done, just a few more seconds. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and run it on, instead of the flash.img, I'm going to run this one on forward slash dev forward slash sdc1. And I'll go ahead and have to append it. So I need two greater than symbols so that both of these hashes exist. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. Actually, I need to run this one as sudo because I'm working with a device. That's an actual operating system device. So. I'll go ahead and do that, and it's going to run through the process here and calculate, or actually just it's running through and telling me how many megabytes and so forth have been processed. All right, you can see that the hash has been taken now. So if I double-click the hash.txt file, I should see that the both of these hashes are identical, and you can see that both hashes currently are identical. Both MD5 hashes, I should say, are identical. Now let's go ahead and make a change you'll see that my flash drive is mounted currently to the operating system so I can actually access the files that are on it and what I want to do is make a quick change to one of the files that are on here just a small little change and so I'm going to open up this PowerPoint here of lecture snippets and we'll use LibreOffice and I'll go ahead and add an S to the snippets and I'll go ahead and save it so it's just a small change Go ahead and hit save. I'll even use the same formatting that I used. It was a Microsoft Word doc or Microsoft PowerPoint file. So I'll go ahead and close it now. And I've made a slight change to this hard drive. Now this is at SDC1, this is a partition. And so I just changed one file on that hard drive. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to take now the hash again of the exact same partition using the md5 deep command and I could be using the md5 sum here but I want to take the exact same hash, the md5 hash and I want to look to see how different it looks. So I'll go ahead and hit enter and it will run through the same process that I just saw and so we'll let this run through. 
All right, now the hashing is done, so I'm going to go ahead and come back to this hash.txt file and show you that with MD5, they're completely different hashes. And now there's no way to really look at these hashes and be able to determine that these files, or partitions, I should say, are almost identical with the smallest little bit of change. There's no way for us to be able to determine with the old conventional way of hashing. And so this is where the fuzzy hashing is going to be wonderful. And the tool that we definitely like to use is the ssdeep tool. So I'll need to go ahead and install that first. Let me go ahead and do a clear so that I'm back up here to the top. And let's go ahead and install this tool. And so the command is just sudo app-get install ssdeep. And it's going to go through the process here of installing the application or the utility here on my operating system. And we're going to be able to use this to actually do the same thing we did with the MD5 hashes. I'm going to take two different hashes and I want to look at the differences between them. So to start off with, I'm just going to show you quickly the man page with SSDeep because it's important to look at some of the options. And the one that I'm going to focus in on here, not right now, but coming up is the dash M option to be able to do the matching of two different things. So I'm going to go ahead and Q to quit out of that. And we're going to just run the command as it is. So SSDeep and I'm going to go ahead now and do the flash.img flash.img and I use the redirector to actually put this in a text file so I'm going to call this one fuzzy hash and uh, I'll go ahead and put .txt on this and I'll go ahead and hit enter and it's going to run through the process now of putting it in here on the text file and you will see here momentarily when it's finished that it will have the hash on this particular text file for me and now that the image is done I'm going to do the sudo ssdeep for the dev slash sdc1 partition that I'm going to be working with. And I'm going to append that to the fuzzy hash.txt file. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And now that's going to run through the same process and it's going to take a few minutes for that to do it as well. Now that both of these devices have been hashed, the image and the actual hard drive partition, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the fuzzy hashing here and see what how they compare. Now when we looked at the MD5 hashes, you could see that there was no similarity at all. But with the SSDeep and the fuzzy hashing, they put it in a format like this. Block size, the colon, a hash, colon, another hash, comma, and then the file name. So if we look here, you'll see the block size and the block size match up. You'll see the hash taken here first. And if you look at the hash here, it is very, very similar. In fact, most of the parts of the hash value line up identical with a couple exceptions. I can see that the n is different and the 6 is different here. I can also see there's a k here and an n here but if you look at the rest of the hash it looks pretty much the same and of course back here on the second hash that they've provided for me you can see that this hash and this hash are very similar with just a few numbers or letters different. The 6 and the N here is one notable one, but most of the rest of it here is pretty close. And so these two hashes are almost identical, and I can look at this and see this. And now another cool thing with the tool is I can actually take a hash from one file and actually compare it to another, and the tool will actually tell me how close they are together. So let me run one more time here the sudo are the ssdeep command with the flash.img and I'm gonna, instead of it going to fuzzy hash.txt I'll just go ahead and change the name then to fuzzy flash and I'll go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and take and put this fuzzy hash in this file and I'm gonna use this to actually compare to the hard drive to see how different they are. Now that the ssdeep command has gone through and actually taken the hash of my image. I'm going to actually use this text file now for the comparison. So I'm going to show you how to do the command. And this is what makes this tool really cool. I'm going to need to run sudo because I'm going to be working with a device, uh, the DEV STC1. So I have to run sudo in this particular case. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the ssdeep command. And then I'm going to use that dash m option for matching. And I'll start off with the fuzzy text that I have here which is fuzzy flash and that's got the hash in that particular text file I actually did not put the txt extension on it but it will still work just fine so fuzzy flash I want to compare that to this forward slash dev forward slash sdc1 and so this command is going to take in 
this fuzzy hash that I have here. It's going to compare it to the hash result from this particular device. And then it's going to give me on a percentage base how accurate it is according to the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter now. And I need to type in my password here. And we're going to let this run. It's going to take a couple minutes. And that's one of the problems with the command is that it does take a little while for this to work. And I'm using a 2 gig flash drive. And so if you're planning on using this for a larger hard drive, do plan appropriately for quite a bit of time for it to actually work. And I'm, I'm looking at maybe about 10 minutes here with a 2 gig flash drive at times. So I'm going to let this keep running and I'll come back here when it's done. And so now that the comparison is done, you can see here that it it has determined that the match was 97 so you can almost think of this as a percentage 97 percent which is very good which means both of these things are very close and so this is really the cool thing with using fuzzy hashes and using the SSD command